I mean, even the Chinese manufacturers, even the low cost manufacturers are trying to get lower cost. Is that going to mitigate the impact at the store or are we going to be paying more for the stuff we buy here in a few days, weeks or months? Um, Brian, you're correct. Christmas uh, has uh, come early this year, but not necessarily in a good way. Saturday night at midnight, we had the kick-in of what we call the Cinderella tax. Our beautiful clothes for the holiday season have <laughs> now turned into rags. We are very upset uh, with the administration. We have talked to them at length. We have begged them on our hands and knees, please stay away from the American consumer. You know, you want to have an issue with China, you want to have some discussion, you want to improve intellectual property transfer of technology, that's great but stay away from the American consumer. We have testified, I personally have testified twice. They're not listening. They are not listening. The president is, uh, shall we say, on the bandwagon, and he is um, hell-bent on putting tariffs on us, and do, do we you got think, hit. Do you think, Rick, there's a feeling in Congress, and I, I know you can't speak for everybody in Congress, but do you think there's a feeling that either A, the impact won't be as serious as some retailers are sort of screaming that it might be, or B, the American economy and the consumer is strong enough to withstand any kind of a price impact. You know, uh, Congress has been, in our opinion, a little too low profile on this. We think they should speak louder. Article 1, Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution says that Congress has the power. However, they outsourced it to the administration, and the administration has been wielding it as a sword against mm. us. It is uh, quite painful for us. And, and you know what, Brian, you know what the, the, the killer in this is? We're now looking at tariffs on five hundred and fifty billion dollars worth of goods coming in from China. Divide that by 365, divide that by 24 hours, divide that by 60. It's a million dollars a minute. At a million a minute. A million dollars a minute going to be tariffed at 25 percent or 15 percent. And you think the American consumer is not going to notice? Well, how, how much of that is going to be eaten by us versus the retailer itself, maybe versus the supplier in China? Because if you share the pain, it does mitigate it at least at every level. No. Look, look this morning the renminbi hit, I think it was 7.18. It's weakening. Yuan. The Chinese currency continues but, to weaken. But when I bought goods from China, I always bought them in dollars, so that didn't affect me at all. And we're all going to try and share the pain. We're all good Americans. Uh, we all try and do the right thing, but we can't withstand this. It has to get passed on to the American consumer. American consumer will pay for it, and when they pay for it, prices go up, sales go down, jobs get lost, and that's why we worry about the R words sipping in. Yeah, Just well, the sipping recession, right which you know, we were to have a guest coming on a few minutes who thinks we could talk ourselves into a recession. Very quickly, you mentioned Congress. Do you think? There's a possibility that, that Congress could wrest this power away from the president and reverse these tariffs on its own if it really wanted to do that? I, I have Does it have the power to do that? Um, if they dig deep enough, they have the power. I have talked to many members of Congress. I think on steel and aluminum, they would be willing to do something. On um, tariffs such as these, I don't think the will is there. I wish it was there, but I don't think it's But there. at least the power does exist. If things got too bad, Congress could potentially jump in? We would hope they would jump in. We've seen uh, no activity in that direction.